to question number 46 it says a man 25 meter tall so his height is 25 meter observes that the angle of elevation of the top of a pole 20 meter away is 20 is 25 degrees find the height of the pole so now let us make a sketch for the representation of this information a man let me draw a man the question says this man's height is 25 meter he observed the top of a pole so let me draw something like this from the same level he observed the top of this pole because we are talking about elevation you have to raise up if it is depression you drop down and you know angle of elevation is always measured as an angle between the horizontal line this is the horizontal line and the point of sight the angle between them is the elevation angle of elevation from the question it says it's 25 degrees this is 25 degrees so if this man's height is 25 meter definitely this pole from this point to this point it will also be 25 meter because we want to find the length of this pole it says the question says the distance between the pole and the man is 20 meter away if their distance apart is 20 meter even the horizontal line must be 20 meter because the opposite side of a rectangle are equal so this is also 20 meter so we have seen that the distance between this point to this point is 25 we want to find the distance from this point to this point whatever we obtain we add it to 25 to obtain the total length of the pole so since it is unknown we can represent it with x this is a right angle triangle which we can apply one of the uh, uh, ratios to find the missing side. The relationship between opposite and adjacent is tan. So therefore tan of this angle 25 will be opposite divided by the adjacent and opposite is x divided by the adjacent which is 20. To find the value of x, we can then multiply both sides by 20, and x will be equal to 20 times 25. And it is going to be the, the, the distance here. So using calculator, we have 20 multiplied by tan 25, we obtain 9.5. Uh, 326 x equals 9.326 approximately but this is not what we are looking for we are looking for the total length of this pod therefore we are going to add this value to this value this is meters so the length of this pole will be nine point three two six plus twenty five plus twenty five equals thirty four point three two six approximately thirty four point three two six meters so now let us look on to the option. All the options are rounded to one DP, one decimal place. So we can take this away. We have 34.3 meters and we have it as option C here. So now let us move on to question number 47.